be brief, but uh, point of interest seems to be this raging debate about whether zero is an even number or what is it? Is it even or odd? I'd always resolved it by the simple definition of uh, any even numbers a multiple of uh, two k, where k is just another integer, and, and similarly for odd and odd numbers, two k plus one, where again k is some integer. And I guess I notice now why some people are curious about is zero really even? Technically, it is in the form zero is equal to two times zero, right? So you would I would tend to classify zero as even. However, it is the odd one, if you will, pardon the pun there, but it's sort of an oddity. In fact, it makes it odder than any of the odd numbers, ha, ha, ha. Uh, notice that it's evenness is defined in terms of itself. That makes it self-referential. Now that bothers some people. If if a property of something depends on itself and you know, I, I, in a weird sort of way, all these other numbers like one, uh, uh, I mean, two, two depends on one for its evenness, four depends on two for its evenness, uh, three depends on one for its oddness, five depends on two for its oddness. So none of the other integers are self-referential in that sense. Their parity is determined by some other number. Again, parity is another word that computer scientists use a lot of times for even or odd, I think, and it has to do with the number of bits in the binary representation. But, uh, but in any event, that's all I have to say about it, really. A, a guy on, on number file back in 2012 added a lot of drama to this. He had, did a video, is zero even, and all kinds of facial contortions and histrionics and stuff. And so I, I, guess, I guess I get it. You know, it's, it's strange that zero is odd and it's, it, that, that zero is even and its evenness is defined in terms of itself. But other than that, I don't see why it's such a big ruckus. Hope you enjoyed